what's up y'all d no wheel drive 229 here and just had the first kind of maintenance that i've had to do with the audi it's ironic because i had just made the video like what two three days ago about how I hadn't really had to do much maintenance at all well that ended um the, the car started shaking a bit and my tpms uh sensor kept going off so I was like, what is that? I thought maybe that the tire that blew out that I told you about, I thought maybe that tire was faulty or that rim was bent and maybe that's why they keep blowing out. But it turns out that one is fully inflated. They were all fully inflated. So didn't know quite what it was. So I took it to a tire shop. Upon closer inspection, the front two tires look horrible like the actual tread. Uh, like it's almost bowed like it's like there's like a bow in it so it's like really time for some new front tires so i'm just gonna have to get those i mean i guess it's not you know really a major deal i mean everybody gonna have to get you know get tires i put about like i say like ten thousand miles on the car uh, a little over that so i mean you know it's to be expected you know nothing really out of the ordinary so i ended up going to the independent tire shop i got some Tiger Paw GTZ tires. Uh, the reason I didn't go with more expensive tires is because A, I plan on selling or trading the car in in like two or three months. So I was like, why would I spend a lot on expensive tires? B, the car is all wheel drive. And so it doesn't matter a whole lot as long as they're not totally crap tires. And C, the reviews on the GTZ tires were pretty good. Uh, so they had like a four point something out of five stars. Most people seem to enjoy them, and those were people with like front wheel or rear wheel drive cars. So I'm sure on this all wheel drive car, I'm sure they'll be just fine for what I need them for. I just need them to last, you know, maybe 5,000 more miles. So ended up doing that. That cost me $410 for two tires and that's mounted installed and all that so just ordered them i gotta go back later on today or either in the morning to get them installed so kind of the first major maintenance i've had to do um like i say the back tires they didn't look that bad like i said one of them was brand new obviously i had to blow out not too long ago and the other one didn't look that bad at all so we'll probably just keep rocking with that one uh, hopefully it'll last, you know, for the remainder of the time I have this car. Um, brakes are looking good. I think the front ones, front brakes are kind of starting to get a little low. So hopefully they can make it to until the time when I trade the car in. So just kind of an update on the maintenance of my car. I just made the video saying I hadn't had to do anything and now I have. So that's what I did. Um, definitely didn't go to Audi. I would recommend if you're getting brakes done or tires, I would recommend not going to the dealership because they're pretty much always going to rip you off and they're not really going to do a much better job than an independent brake or tire shop that literally deals with them all the time. So that'd be my advice. Let me know how, what y'all think. Y'all think you should just go to the dealership especially with a car like this with an Audi a pretty expensive car you think you should still just go to an independent shop I mean I don't see any problem with that but let me know what you all think uh yeah just a quick update the no wheel drive 229 check out the other content like subscribe comment and share and have a great day